time But I gotta do it, they always stay out of line Sometimes I wanna just chill and lay But I'm the protector of the emeralds and gems Stay knuckled up in a deep cut I'm seeing skulls that burn, they trying to throw me off Avoiding my luck, I'm feeling kinda stuck Don't call me knuckles, give me a box
Hello, everybody. Welcome to another very exciting Bingo League matchup. Today we have the current 4-4 four and four Team Canada and the current 0-2 oh Australia going head-to-head. -head. I am joined by Dawn on chat. Hello, Dawn. Yo, how's it going? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Just come off watching a pretty epic moment in the Sadex history, a new world record for those who didn't know. And yeah, now... make sure to go eat a banana for Nixer. <laughs> and now, yeah, getting to come watch uh, some classic SA2 bingo. Who will love a bit of bingo? Uh, let's take a look at these goals. Hmm. They're, it, they honestly seem pretty spread out looking at them. Yeah, <laughs> not a nice mixture of hero diet. Obviously, missions, quite a few missions this one. Uh, my eye straight away goes to that very horrible defeat, both Sonic 1 and Shadow 1 goal. Yeah. That, usually we get the, the hot shot Bigfoot. That one's quite deep into the, the story for, for both. So I don't see that one being anything taken early. This is, of course, individually done, not as a team. Just scanning through. Oh, I didn't realize that. You need to do that. Like, one player needs to do both. Yeah, yeah, one player needs to get through to both of them. So. Wow, that's an endgame call then, for sure. Yeah, I've seen quite a few nice story progression ones here as well. Um, the Sand Ocean, five animals, means we probably won't be seeing sand walking, which is probably a nice thing for both of our players through Hero Story. Um, losing a life to Golden Beetle, I have seen Meltwiz go for this one a few times before, and see if he goes for it again. It's obviously quite risky for losing time in the story. Uh, a few chow box and ring goals along the way. So I think we're probably going to see a bit more progress in the dark early on. And it's going to be interesting to see when the hero story players decide to jump out and start going with some of these missions. Yeah. Um, yeah, the few the few early goals. It, yeah, the, the interesting thing is definitely going to be if it does end up coming down to some of the later game ones, like Cosmic Wall defeating both Sh Shadow 1 and Sonic 1. Um, what they do then because like there's also goals like route to adm5 like this would be a doozy of a match if it went late yeah i can see this being quite a fun one i love any driving stage that makes you go late that's always quite funny yeah the m5s especially like if it's like an m3 it's like okay well you just have to play the stage and you know the m2s are quick but route 280 which is already long the the longer card stage and then it's m5 yeah, so that's the sort of mission that usually would favor like a 180 player, somebody that's used to doing it. And we have none of those currently in the game. So <laughs> that can be very fun for both our dark runners if they get to that point where they have to... The M5 itself won't be bad at all, but the M3 and the M4, uh, the M3 in particular, can be very toxic. So from a personal sadistic point of view, I hope we really get to see that mission. Yeah, I mean, it would be a cool, like, it would, it would feel like a bit of a shootout, I would imagine, if it comes down to it. Yeah, I'm looking at some of the other sort of quite deep ones we have. So the Pyramid Cave M5 A rank. It's not a hard A rank in itself, but it's a very slow goal to get to. Because there's just... It's so easy to die in that stage, especially on the M4. The M5 A rank isn't easy. It's just quite slow if you're not confident on a point route. Same with Mission Street M4 A rank. Again, it's not a very difficult A rank to get, but it's just avoiding death and not making any major mistakes, which can be very awkward in an M4. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised seeing this board if one of the teams decide uh, from the hero side to abandon hero story and go into dark story because there are so many dark story goals, I feel like, um, like especially late. So I think yeah, that could be an interesting strat. I feel like there's a lot of ones you can sort of, you can balance this one out where you can have potentially two people in dark in the mid game you, you've got a challenge with some of those earlier hero story goals like metal harbor for instance mm -hmm. um and even the mission street hundred rings you gotta be looking to go for those uh ancient light obviously in green forest but once you sort of get past that point you're forced to go into the driving um or to go deep into some missions i wouldn't be surprised if we do have some consideration of getting doubled up in dark yeah, because especially the the reason why I say that is I see a lot of really late dark goals like Mad Space M1 Hintless, Cosmic Wall M2, but uh, I, I feel like after Aquatic Mine, there's what, two goals? It's like Death Chamber and Pyramid Cave, right? Yeah, there's not a whole lot. So yeah, that's what kind of makes me think that it would almost be a good idea to like exit out to missions or go into uh, Dark Story. Because, like, you could exit out, go for, like, Iron Gate M2. You can just snipe the really quick ones. 
uh, and something like defeat both Sh Shadow One Sonic Two, or Sonic One, I mean. And I've seen Meltas enough times mention how he loves dipping out and going to another <laughs> another story. So That's I wouldn't be surprised. True. I wouldn't be surprised to see Meltas wanting to dip out and get into into Dark. Oh, into Hero, sorry. Um, so he might try and force Hedera come to her arguably better story into Dark. Yeah, that is the interesting thing about this team is they're both. It feels like they both favor Dark. Um, yeah, I would say they're both stronger in the Dark story. And Hedera's kind of been lumped into Hero story because she's more comfortable than Melt was in it. But yeah, definitely both Dark runners. To try. I think this board can actually be really good for them then. Um, I think Melters probably wants to go for that strat, right? And so if Hedera's the one to go from Hero to Dark, this actually might favor them a lot. Can see a world where that's possible because yeah i mean hedera definitely knows dark right, it looks like we are getting to that point where we've had our five minutes of discussion as a team getting very close now to seeing our runners take away as you can see we can have ace and melters in dark the use and hedera in hero story so there's no first mission goals for either of our teams here so i think First thing we're looking out for is does anybody go for death on a gold beetle? That's of course open to both stories. I'd imagine hero story we do see that. And only I'd imagine if they miss the E skip. So let's see, let's see. As we do get underway, Hedera, a little delayed here. This might just be a stream delay rather than actually being behind. I hope. Otherwise it's gonna be quite the deficit. <laughs> Yeah, or a potential restart. It's a world where maybe the stream is just. Oh, uh, well. Hopefully that. Yeah, hopefully that's just a stream thing. Yeah. Uh, we see Mel is there attempting Ethan Hump and unfortunately failing it. He does have a bit of hit and miss consistency with that. It's only a small very time loss. Definitely worth going to. Yeah, I kind of feel like uh, I would be pretty surprised to see a team uh, intentionally just forego C skip for the. Uh, Golden Beetle mission, but we'll have to see how much they yeah. value that early goal. Yeah, I definitely see that as a backup in case you do miss it. Let's see, do you say getting a little? Yeah, so do you say gonna go skip this because he sort of messed up the setup there for the skip? Uh, do you very very strong in his uh, skip with CE? So I'm hoping for a low one fifty or even a high one forty here if he plays as well. Yeah, looking pretty solid so far. Hedera gets it. So Hedera hitting CE skip. So that's yeah. definitely going to be a story of on here for Hedera. That's huge, obviously, with this board. Oh, it's Deuce there, not getting over the ramp or the loop very clean. Because, yeah, we see two child boxes in Metal Harbor. Uh, we see Ancient Light. Uh, just those two in particular are pretty powerful to just really not be out of your way almost at all. Uh, so just being ahead so much, even with the uh, potential stream delay, Hedera still didn't have a yeah, Today we're a pretty solid 128. It's looking like a, a low 150 something here from the use. As we see, both our runners come towards the end of Iron Gate as well. Uh, pretty insane. Slight advantage here for Motors. But nothing catastrophic, nothing the Dry Lagoon I'm sure won't completely ruin. So yeah, yeah, 154 for you. so about a 26 second deficit there. Um, hard to tell exactly with potential stream delay how much Hedera is ahead, because if she did start late, unfortunately that will count against her, but I wouldn't imagine it being anywhere near as far as it looked on stream. Yeah, that, that is the big thing, is uh, RNG, especially in Dark Story, can swing it a lot, uh, but here with having the CE skips disparity, uh, Hedera can afford a little bit of bad RNG. Yeah, Hedera having clean enough with Bigfoot. See if the use. With a slightly interesting way of doing it, but getting through the fight clean enough. You see Ace and Melters, no problems in their hot shots. So RNG time. Hedera being, I'd argue, the strongest hunter in this matchup. Uh, spotting the on a railway free piece. Some cool movement and yeah pretty solid set with this on a railway there's pretty much no piece you can get here that makes it like terrible 
Oh, okay. Hedera saw yeah. the piece on the way up. Yeah, on a, on a pillar. So, pretty good set for Hedera. Not looking as strong here for the use. You've had the same piece one, but a much worse piece two when you can't see it. And, oh, not got the hint of piece three, but. Oh, we did go on, on a pillar as well. So, very similar. Yeah, they both saw it on the way up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we see Ace wasn't resetting here for pieces so he gets a bit trolled with piece two but finds his piece three melt is also taking a p2 in the um small oasis so questionable decisions i'd say here personally from the hunters in dark story and this could be a big advantage for ace if melt is a bad piece he gets under a chin so one he could have easily looked for while in the other oasis and it looks like Yep, so he's getting up there with a good few second advantage here over Melters. Wow, this is crazy. This this match is already uh, living up to expectations here. Yeah, and as Drum in the chat points out here, Melters is on zero lives after the resets, but it looks like. So that's probably why he did take that bad set. And going into Sand Ocean with zero lives, especially when you're going to be trying to get five animals potentially. Yeah, it's going to see if Melters quits out here to try and get some extra lives, which is quite slow because of the cutscene at the start of Sand Ocean. Yeah, especially with the RTA, right? Like, you're hardly losing time. Uh, well, yeah, you don't have to worry about the cutscene at all, right? If you're exiting out normally, but RTA makes a big difference here. Yeah, so Ace there taking the life and then a death. Uh, Melt is, is going for it, takes the life, but dies straight away. Interesting. Uh, so I don't know if that was okay. intentional the same way Ace did to get the first animal and then reset the cycles. That was pretty smart, I think. If you want to hit the cycles and get that animal it's probably a good play yeah but when you only have that zero lives it's a bit of a risky play you see both both clearly going for this goal going either way four animals here taking a slightly different route on the first animal yeah this is going to be a close one they're they both seem to know what they're doing for this goal it's not like their first time doing this it seems like yeah i'm going to say the meltless has the the movement advantage through the stage looking a bit cleaner as we see eight taking a death but Mel is being in that position where he can't afford any mistake here. One death, and he's really handing the massive advantage to Ace at this point. Yeah, Meltzer's is a player that will certainly take risks. He's not afraid to, even in bingo. Always kind of makes it interesting. So we're seeing a bit of a disparity forming here in the hero story. Hedera here leaving prison laid. Uh, do you still got a good 25, 30 seconds to go? So Mel was here entering quite a risky part of the stage, very easy to die at the end on this cycle. Uh, it's something that he likes to term the Melters jump. So see if he's going to play it safe or he's going to risk it. Oh, I think he's going to wait around for the bat here. To see Ace get their third animal. I think this might be Mel was his second. So he's going to have to grab all the animals here at the end. Oh, that's from Thera. Unfortunate one there. Yeah, Melt was playing it nice and safe here. Gonna have to grab these last animals. So it's looking like this first goal is gonna go to Melt as he shouldn't really die from this position. He still needs one animal though and gets the one out of the whistle pipe there. So Melt has all five. As Ace, it looks like took a death, is back at the checkpoint. Oh no. So, yeah. Even with these small mistakes here at the end for. For Melters, this is very much looking like this first goal is going to go to Team Canada. The All-American Team Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like... Uh, I don't... I wasn't too sure what happened. I think I saw Deuce take a death, and I don't know if that was to the Beetle. I feel like that'd be pretty hard to do on Prison Lane. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to really set up your health quite low for that point. Uh, yeah. Cedera here getting the chow box and taking the rocket. So a good minute or so here, nearly ahead of Deuce and with the chow boxes. So I think we're pretty quickly going to see this become 2-0 to Team Canada. Yeah, even uh, after the death for Cedera. Yeah, it looks like Ace took another death as well. I've just noticed him back at the section with the chow box jump. So Sand Ocean not going well for Ace. Not only now do Team Canada have these two goals, they have the story advantage as well. Yeah, story advantage will be pretty big here. Um, there's a lot of missions and stuff, so 
obviously there's you know it's there there's a path but story advantage is pretty big just because of how many uh late game goals there are for dark story yeah he's not getting to that final checkpoint so it should be pretty clean to the end here but you can see melter starting to establish a pretty big lead as he makes his way through radical highway already 40 seconds into the stage with ace still about 15 20 seconds left to go in sand ocean and Hidero just entering the Faker cutscene as Deuce is getting onto the rocket. So pretty sizable advantages here, opening up 14 Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really interested to see if uh, they do go with the strat of a runner switching over. I think this is like the perfect match and the perfect team for it as well. But uh, the question is, when does that happen? If Hedera is going to switch over to Dark or Melters to Hero, I think realistically, like going like Hedera to Dark is is definitely the play if it's going to happen. Yeah, the problem you have with that is is that I mean it's not going to be much of a problem. I was thinking the Shadow One and Sonic One goal. That goal appears a lot earlier in Hero Story if you've done yeah. the Dark Story already. That so is true. I don't see it coming down to that, but maybe one for them to consider. But that being just one goal, I can't see them making any kind of sacrifice for it. As we have the first and final cutscenes of this boss fight taking place in Hero, we see Melters finishing off Radical Highway. So Hedera now going to be, I would imagine, stepping out of the way slightly to grab the Ancient Light. I can't see a world where she ignores that one. Uh, probably knowing she has a story advantage at this point. Or is yeah, it's, it? it's just so quick to grab that goal. There's like no reason not to. Unless you forget where it is or something. But I think all the players here are experienced enough. Yeah, I so, should see it marked off any second. Yeah. Yeah, we see her making a way out for it now and grabbing it. Also, I forgot to mention the melt was finished that uh, Radical Highway with 100 rings. So mm -hmm. that was making it three, and Heldera grabbing this goal, which is already marked. So I imagine that she is just having a stream delay there for that one. Yep. And grabbing the Ancient Light, so making it 4-0 here to um, Team Canada. Yeah, those deaths for Ace, and uh, I guess, like, I, I I think there was a death in Prison Lane for Deuce. I, I could be wrong on that, but I swear I looked over and he was, like, at back at the checkpoint. Um, and then also missing CE skip. So there's pretty big differentials right now, but we'll see what their strategy will be to get back into it. I'm sure they're thinking of it right now. Yeah, also we've seen Melters here break two of the Chow boxes in headquarters, just grabbing a second piece there, uh, nicely off the death strike, getting Dark Chow, so alter room. So get ready to see that goal tick now for, you, for the two Chow boxes in headquarters, and it is 5 0 to Team Canada. Wow, that was a that's a pretty good time with uh, with breaking the two trap boxes. I'd imagine hardly lost time at all to it. Yeah, I think he was quite fortunate. Obviously, he had to go into the upgrade room to get that chow box, and I think his first piece was in the green room, so chow box just in the corridor there. As Hedera finishing off her green forest, Deuce on his way up the tree, and Ace pretty much in the egg quarters behind. Not checking any free pieces there in the robots. So that doesn't bite him. Mmm, the exit out. <clears throat> I did not see that coming, to be completely honest. Yeah, it's mm. quite a surprising one, knowing that he must know he's got the story advantage. So unless he's thinking I can get this mission out of the way and still keep an advantage, or at least very, very close. Um, but of course, he doesn't have hover yet, so... This is a very strange choice from Melters, and it's going to be a very slow Iron Gate M2. I wonder if he's actually considered that. Or did he get the upgrade and I missed it? I can't remember. I didn't see it. No, there's no upgrade. Yeah, so he didn't get the, yeah, didn't go into the stage to get the um, hover upgrade. So yeah, we're going to be looking at a pretty slow M2 here from Melters, which is just what Australia needed really here. This gives um, Ace a perfect chance to catch up and maybe even get ahead. Well, we'll get ahead in the story progression. Yeah, Ace is actually just going to be in the lead now, which is interesting. <laughs> but I think the thought process is uh, don't give up early goals that are like very easy for them, right? Um, 
but yeah, like you, as you mentioned, like the story progression is big. Ace there getting a little unfortunate, not getting quite close enough to see the Dark Sonic in Blue Room Ping. Yeah. Oh. So having to run all the way around. But Iron Gate M2 is about to be ticked off from Melters, so despite going out his way for an extra goal here, he's not going to be that far behind. Do you see it on his way to his final piece in Pumpkin Hill as you see Hedera making her way through Mission Street? So, missing those rings at the start, so probably yeah. not going for this M100 plus rings. I was going to mention, I, I feel like um, this mission is just very annoying. So, oh, interesting. so sorry, Mel, Mel is here again going into Dry Lagoon, so giving up on the story it seems here. Ah, okay, yeah, I know what Hedera is doing. So she's done this before a few times, so she goes and grabs the upgrade and then goes and gets the 100 rings. You know, this actually makes sense, because then you can just do the route in uh, all missions, or what, 80. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, quite you a, know, quite actually, quite that is right. You know, <clears throat> you mentioned that we don't have any 180 runners, but Hedera has run all missions. So Hedera maybe has experience with the Route 280, if it comes down to it, but it's that's for the Dark Runner, so I don't know. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. <laughs> But I so think it I'm does help overall. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the play is here from De use. Does he... He's got a few rings here. Not enough, really, to be going for the M2 route. But could possibly be taking... <laughs> yeah, if, if he's just going to go for a playthrough trying to use the checkpoints as they come, this is going to be very, very tight, potentially. But slightly better cycle here from Hedera. You see Melt was taking off Dry Lagoon M3. Very good 12.74 there. Ooh, Ace, now already avoiding death after hitting that rail. So it looks like Meltus is probably going to have to go back into storing. Would make sense. Yep, so returning. Oh, Meltus is going to die. Okay, he was in dark already. My problem. I'm getting, to... I'm getting excited when somebody might go into the other story. And it's... <laughs> I saw him click on a story and he was already in it. So. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of surprised. I feel like we could have seen Meltus finish Lost Colony. And then go for all three of those missions and then like go into hero um but i don't know i feel like going into hero probably isn't the play in this match but we've seen melters do crazier things yeah i'm now watching do making his way up the walk of shame while trying to maintain Ooh. rings very scary moments as hedera crossing over to the cycle so not right you need that so, like 70 i think uh it's gonna be i think deuce can get all of them here it's gonna be close but i don't think it's gonna matter because hedera has her hundred mm -hmm. and is ahead so yeah do would have to go out his way and grab all the rings here at the end it's still it's gonna be pretty close yeah as long as the ending goes well for hedera it shouldn't matter We should get the see the goal marked off any second now, but yeah, the end can do it. The use is actually on 99 rings. I can't remember another ring in the stage, so I don't think he'd have got there anyway. But the goal is ticked off for Hedera. So there's a, this... a line right here. Is there? Uh, yeah, right yeah, there. there is. Okay, yeah. But yeah, they're already getting there, so it's 8 0 now to easy. Team Canada. And this is looking like a pretty one sided map to the moment, so. So, Ace, Ace oh, going for yeah. last call on the M2. Let's go. <laughs> it's probably a good shout. At least get yourself onto the board. Try and avoid that. Dirty, you know. And who knows? Meltwas has shown interesting going for missions. He might be thinking Ace might continue in the story. So this might work out for Ace that he gets the goal and keeps the story progression. Yeah, that would be the um, the ideal situation for Ace here. As if Melters exit out to go to M2. Ah, oh, Hedera here going straight for the upgrade. So she's going for the 100 rings and she's going backwards through this room. So knowing her route pretty well here. Obviously mapped this one out before. I'm going to see if pieces come into it. As Deuce gets the free piece, Guardian of the Switch. Oh, of course, Deuce has got a lot of... got a chance here. Can he just get out or is he going to go for the rings? Oh, He's going for the go, rings. Going for the rings. So He's in a good position in terms of pieces yeah but 
Does he know the route anywhere near as well as Hedera does? She's playing this route very, very well so far. Yeah, like what the question is like what matters here more is the Ooh, I don't know, do you have enough air to do this? You do if you go straight to the upgrade. You can't come back. Oh, you can't come back. Okay, that's interesting. So that's, he's gonna, Yeah, he's clipping gonna... is probably the play. Yeah, so he's going to have to grab the upgrade here, come back down, and it looks like Hedera is getting containers to the Jumbo Skull. is probably going to get that piece first uh, before Dino is able to go over the dig on the slope. That's so sad. It almost makes you think although, that yeah. although you should have committed for one or the other. Although maybe not. She's got to go back up here to get one more ring. Maybe giving Deuce a little bit of time. It's going to be a race this final piece, but yeah, yeah. it's looking like Hedera is just going to get there first. So close. So a little bit heartbreaking there for Deuce as it goes 9-1 oh. because Ace is getting that Lost Colony M2. So Ultra at least on the board here. Yeah, this is it's always nice to see. You don't like to see any... Uh, any clean 13 O's. Yeah. And uh, Melter's not taking the bait of Lost Colony M2 and retaining the story advantage. Probably a good call. Yeah, probably thinking that Ace might be going for that goal and trying to play it smart. I see Deuce here exiting out and he looks to be going for Green Forest goals. As Hedera going into the driving. So Hedera probably going for the, the smart play here of just securing the victory. Going into the end game as Deuce going for the let's get as many goals as we can, at least try and put some pressure on. Yeah, the <clears throat> the thing here is like I think if the game was closer, then there's the world where we can see people exit out into another story, but <clears throat> because they only need what, four more goals right now? Hedera's looking at that Death Chamber M2 and that like I'm assuming like Pyramid Cave M5. I'm kind of surprised we're not seeing... I, I'm actually kind of surprised that we actually didn't see Hedera exit out. But like you said, it's kind of securing the victory. You already know you're in the lead. So... Yeah, it's sort of like... No way you lose out on those. Exactly. They're sort of playing risk-free, of course. They're still playing for their place in that potential final six. Mm -hmm. So making sure they get... Trying to go for that 6-4 or 5-4, depending on the circumstances with one of our teams. So just getting themselves into that sort of winning position. So taking it, I don't think it's going to come down to goal difference. So yeah, trying to just claim that comfortable victory. Can't blame them at all for that. And we'll see what security all has in store for Melters. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I'm trying to think here, <clears throat> like what their game plan is. Uh, Child boxes in white jungle, endless mad space, both make sense. Maybe even okay. lose a life to a gold beetle. Hmm. Yeah, we've seen we've seen now Meltus has an opportunity here. Yeah, I wasn't sure. He's going up to the walls of the gold beetle with zero rings there. I wasn't sure if he's gonna take the death. He chooses not to. I think uh, he could be pretty smart for Deuce to go take that now. Because that's something that the other team can also do at any time. And one goal is a pretty big deal at this point. Very, very true. Right, yeah, so it looks like I would imagine Melter is just going to go for that two chow boxes goal. Ace current, or uh, Deuce currently going for. Uh, Green Forest M3. I believe already finished the M2. Yeah, he's currently in the M3, so on the way to that goal. You can see it. Moe's here. Oof. Game one of the boxes broken, but only the one. So still very easy, able to manip Flying Dog here. It's the Ace. Oh, unfortunate piece three. Yeah, I'm curious what Hedera's game plan is here. For a for the next what I guess she's probably looking Ooh. for like two goals. <laughs> so Deuce going for the slope boost strat here off the the log. Obviously not having the bounce boost, it can't go for the oh. more common strat. Using one eighty and then damage boosting, getting the chow, so getting the second goal on the board for the team. 
There's so many ways to do that without the upgrade. I've never even seen that one before. Yeah, I think people just find their own sort of way of doing it. There's so many different slopes and areas in that part of, or things in that part of the game that you can just find a way to jump up there. Yeah. And now that uh, Hedera sees Deuce in missions, I mean, she can just continue and just know that Deuce probably hasn't even done Route 101, right? So everything after Desert is just up for Hedera to claim. Yeah, I can see her going for that Death Chamber M2. I'll be interested to see if she decides to go any further than Death Chamber. Um, there's no reason to. Um, so, might drop out, go for that Sonic 1 Shadow 1 goal. Um, might go back probably from Wild Canyon M5, but she might think the Deuce is potentially which he is working on that, so might ignore that one. Yeah, I think... Um, I think... I, I would imagine Hidera's perspective here is like, just don't get sniped. Um... So, like, having the guaranteed Death Chamber and maybe even Pyramid Cave uh, might be where Hedera's at. Because if, if Melters is able to secure the chat box here and then is able to do Hint with Mad Space, then that would be game. Um, but Pyramid Cave M5 is going to be a long goal, so I don't know. Yeah, I can almost want to see her trying to avoid that one because it is it's a lot of Pyramid Cave and the stage sucks. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. I mean, the like in, in missions, surely, yeah. Like M2 is quick, but the other, the other like full four missions take a long time. That's why I was surprised though. Like, I feel like there's a lot of quicker goals that are readily available for Hedera. So, yeah, I don't see her have to go for anything too risky here. Um... This M5B rank, I imagine, is probably going to be ticked by Deuce already by the time she gets over there. So yeah. she'll know that one is even up for grabs. As you see, Deuce here looking for a piece three, not quite able to see one. I actually think we might see like three goals ah, from There Melbourne. you go. <laughs> Deuce <laughs> can get a double Wild Canyon track here. Love to see it. Yes, yeah, so you see Melters there getting up both of those chow boxes. Uh, goal has already been ticked off, so I'm guessing this ending's going to go without problems, as you see. So 10-2 as it currently stands. Yeah, so if Hedera goes for Death Chamber M2, uh, then there's only two goals left. And I can see White Jungle M3. I feel like that would be relatively quick. Death Chamber M2 as well, and maybe lose a life to it. The gold beetle. Like no, those what, could all happen pretty quick. What I want to see here is Melters defeat this boss, quit out, and go straight into hero story. <laughs> I could totally see it happening. I can see it happening, not because it's optimal, not because it's fast, but because it's Melters. Yes. Right? <laughs> Melters just really wants to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could see the, the thought process also being like, well, I can go into the other early missions. Uh, but then DU started doing the early missions, right? So. so Melter's having a bit of a time in his Sonic 1. This might scare him off the Shadow 1 fight. Might not, might not want to go through this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sonic oh. playing the best defense of all time right uh, now. When Sonic lands on that, that rail, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> no, Melter. <laughs> okay, it's finally over. So DU's getting out of M5, but getting the B rank. So there getting his go. third goal. So yeah, we're going to see what Melters decides to do now. Does he just quit straight out and go to Hero Story? I really hope he does. Yeah, I feel like I feel it's like it not, has to. It's not the best play, but it's just the funniest play. Like he, he's not going to do Route 280, surely. Yeah, quitting out. Come okay. on, into Hero Story. Into Hero Story. Ah, oh. Melters. Playing optimally. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go for Secure LM3, which is of course a very quick goal. Mm, yeah, I didn't even realize goal. that was there. Yeah, this is definitely the play. I, I totally missed that, that this goal existed. And then there's also White Jungle M3. You can tell this isn't the real Melters. This is clearly an imposter. The real Melters would have gone. <laughs> Melters is a little sus today, apparently. So we see Ace here dipping out. What's Ace going to say? Ace also going to secure it all. So, so he's going to be behind in this. Obviously, every chance Melters does get hit. This isn't the freest mission in the world, but 
You have to very much put the advantage here with melters. Uh, both runners, of course, not having sunglasses, though. So, question of who can grab that chow the best without the upgrade. Yeah. Always a funny one to watch when runners have that moment of realization, oh, wait, I can't get this right now. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, well, this will be a big one. If Melters can uh, get both of these missions done fine, M2 is finished up. All comes down to grabbing that chow. Yeah, as you see Ace now getting ready to hit. Oh no, he's going off some more rings first before hitting that back ring. Nope, decided back ring time. So let's see, can he get it? As you see, yeah, we're seeing Death Chamber M2 here for Hedera, no real surprise. And Deuce going for the Dying to Golden Beetle, I believe. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Because it's such a fast goal, and like, uh, the other team can just go for it at any time. So sniping this one is, uh, is I feel like is a good idea. Okay, that was how quick are you at getting that hover out of a glide? Very, very clean. Love to see it. Let's go. Great execution there from Melters. Right, and it looks like, uh, I wonder where Melters is going next. It's got to go to Hero, sorry. <laughs> just, just, oh, oh, Hedera, they're getting hit no. going for the M2 route by that weight. Melters entering Security Hall. So is he going to go for the upgrade and then quit out here? Hmm. I'm trying to see what he'd be going for <laughs> with this. Yeah, not sure. Oh, he's going to guide die to the Golden Beetle. Okay. Oh. Accidentally Mel killed the gold beetle. Yeah, so Mel was going for the death sib. Probably, give me just see if Deuce beats him to it. Um, Deuce, you're going to need to get hit a few times here, buddy, to die to this golden beetle. Obviously not going to happen. She got the death. Let's go. <laughs> I'm wondering if Deuce thinks that that counts. I don't think that counts. Yeah, I don't think we can count that, unfortunately. I think that might have been what he did in... <clears throat> Might have been what he did in prison lane. I'm gonna go with not because that would have been the third one if he did. And okay. This, obviously, entering city escape now, trying to get what I imagine would be his third death. Yeah, I, I don't think that counts. No, I don't think we can count that. I don't know if somebody like you want to message him or something, Blue, if you're listening, just to tell him you've got to actually take the final hit to the gold beetle. As he melts yeah. taking the funny iron gate one, doing it properly, taking that final hit off the gold beetle. So that is the second one. So it's going to be a race now, obviously. Team Canada here on 12. It's a race between... So Hedera getting that M2 goal, making it 12. And as we see, Mel was making his way through Radical Highway. Another pretty quick one. This is less than a minute in. So... He's probably going to get this here before Deuce does anyway and take that final hit. Yeah, it is pretty close. But Deuce has to be safe here to not get rings. I don't know, I think Deuce, yeah. Deuce might get his golden beetle first, so he might try and click the goal here before being told he's not actually completed it properly. Oh, Ooh, Although, getting trolled by gold beetle. Ooh, oh, taking the dip there, that's... So I understand yeah. why, but yeah, that's... <laughs> You want to hit the check first, for sure. Yeah, you want to go to the check that's slightly ahead of you and then come back, but... Well, that's going to remove any controversy here anyway, because Melter's undoubtedly going to be able to die to this Radical Highway Golden Beetle. <laughs> we'll see. It's not nearly as troll as the... the City Escape one is. Yeah, that one is very troll. I'm still sad at Melter's that he's decided oh, not to go Melters. for... Yeah. Melter's. Melter's still has a ring. Yeah, there's an enemy that pops down just here, is there not? Oh, yeah, true. yeah. Uh, Melters doesn't know. <laughs> no, Melters. <laughs> now he realizes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the ring just kept falling on Melters over and over. <laughs> they both got trolled. But it should be okay this time. Yeah, you see Ace here getting close to the white jungle oh. M3. So it's like Ace is going to be able to pull out one more goal before the end as he grabs the white jungle M3. Melter as... taking another death. <laughs> Melter's here really struggling to homing attack cancel the golden beetle. 
Uh, or spring, apparently. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, this is a classic Melters moment from the Annals of SA2. There's Deuce here now, getting close to getting hit by this Gold Beetle. And failing oh. again! Oh, exiting out! He's given up on it! <laughs> oh, do you know? This is terrible. And Melters has just stopped playing. <laughs> Whoa, what is happening? It's madness. Oh, wait, wait. Did they? Oh, they already clicked off. Wait. So okay. Oh, so Melters. Did Melters hit it? Melters I don't know. Wait, hit was, it. He's clicked it the three Beetles, so did. I'm guessing Melters must have done it, but I didn't see him get hit. Okay. Hello. How's it going? The Melters and Hedera. GG on the match. Oh, good games, everybody. Yeah, good games. We could have, uh, Ace and I would have had a better chance if I didn't die twice in prison lane. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, you, you both had pretty rough starts. You obviously were prison lane. Uh, Ace not having the best of time in Sand Ocean. No. I thought I had a bad time in Trial Sand of Ocean literally slaughtered like... any possible chance that I would have had. Uh, also, oh, before well. we get into uh, anything, I just want to point out to you that um, Deuce. When it says die to Golden Beetle, that means take the final hit. You can't just get hit and then fall into the water after a Golden Beetle. Just for future reference. Oh, all right. Thank you for that, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I know that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we were noticing you just sort of hitting and then falling into the water. And yeah, we we're going to tell you if you clicked it off, but yeah, for future reference. But okay. yeah, so yeah, GG's to Team Canada. Uh, how do you think that, that run went for you? How, how'd it go? I, I I was really nervous. Like, I, I it, it's it's hard to say because I don't know if you guys saw, and I don't know what happened going into Sand Ocean, but like I felt really behind going in. Like, like I got really bad RNG. Like I've never seen anything like. It. <laughs> so you were a little bit behind, but Ace had also taken like a similar set where he had to go back to the Oasis for his piece two, but he had found his piece three beforehand so you bought the bit ahead going into sand ocean but um i was more worried about you entering with zero lives motors i was mm -hmm. oh. watching you thinking any death here you're going to be in its behind potentially so yeah played, played well avoided the death and yeah after that point you had a, a pretty clear story advantage because stage just was not behaving for ace and then yeah uh, it was a pretty close match there was a I think there was just like a few key moments. Yeah. That really, really put you guys behind, and then. Yeah, it was the prison lane, and then um, Hedera sniping the goals that I was going for. There yeah, was a few um... times where you, yeah, where you were just like a few seconds behind, just watching the goal get ticked off. It was quite unfortunate uh, to watch. Yeah, I think both it's very unfortunate. And DUC was like, just those those things that built up led you to just barely losing out on a goal, like in multiple occasions. That's um, what did us. That's what did us in. Yeah. To be honest, so this whole thing can be, this whole thing can be looked back at Hedera hitting C skip. I think that might have been the difference in the end of this match that she just always had oh. that twenty-five, thirty second advantage over you, just constantly being able to get to everything first. Yeah, that's hard to. Uh, like, yeah. I feel like, Damn, being, like I, I practiced it once and then I got it. <laughs> I feel like like. Just the sand ocean in particular is just like it's so it's so like it's like a deal breaker basically. Like we saw like like the last match for example, like um Box went for sand walking but the then the guy blew himself up and then that put her behind for like no reason. So that stage is just like uh pretty pretty crazy, yeah. Yeah, between Sand Ocean and Sea, it's so easy for one team to just get such a big time advantage over the other. All it takes is one thing to go wrong and you feel yourself out of all the story contention, but you guys like Ace and Deuce, you did really well in sort of keeping yourselves in there. Like you were competitive the whole way through. You just yeah. weren't able to make back that gap. But you take those thirty seconds out of it, and I think this would have been a very, very close match. Yeah, because I did try to go see Skip, but then um, uh, I you saw what happened with like the yeah, it was just a bit warm, and I just decided. 
I just decided it's probably not worth trying to go for it because I'm probably going to miss it anyway because um, I usually only get it if I get those top dash pads um, yeah, yeah, yeah. like right after the checkpoint because of the way I set it up. So, yeah. I mean, you, had, you had your bit of fun with the uh, the C Golden Beetle at the end. Everyone's favorite Golden Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> that was Seahawks. funny. Call that the Seahawks Beetle. Yeah. yeah. He's calling it now. Incredibly was... troll, especially to try and die on. So. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> such a troll. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But yeah, I think it was a very interesting game. I, I know I certainly enjoyed watching it and commentating it. But yeah, good performances by both of you. Um, obviously, Team Canada, you've got one more match left in the league. So oh yeah. You're going to enjoy your 5 5 record that you're going to be finishing <laughs> off with? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. It's going to be 6 Not 5, sure. right, Hedera? 6 yeah, 5? You play, you're playing 11 matches. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, how many? Wait a second, no. 6 4, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that match on Sunday. And um, yeah, Australia, good luck to you for the rest of your matches. Got another 6 or 7 to go, depending on circumstances. Uh, best of luck, hopefully, getting a few wins on that board. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. But I, unless anybody has anything else they'd like to bring up? Yeah, we're ready to host. Yeah, I think we may, might be about done. So I don't know if, I know it's winner's tradition to find a raid target. So I don't know if that was Odera. Ready to host yeah. May Zeno? What is it? May Live in was, yeah. May is live. She's live. No. Yeah. I think that will be a pretty epic host. Right, 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 12 fellow Twitch users? I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome. So I will leave that in the hands of whoever is in control of channel right now. Yeah. That. Well, uh, right. Into it. So, yeah, saying up the mirror. But yeah, um, GG's to both teams. Uh, looking forward to the next matches. Thank you everybody for watching. See Anybody else? Any other sign-off messages? No. Later. <laughs> Later. See you next time. Peace. Yeah.